This is Friendly Cat doing the Hearts of Iron 4 achievement, Snakes on a Plane. It's hard for me to say that without laughing, but I do enjoy this achievement. What we're going to be doing here is pretty straightforward. No shenanigans. Just going to go Democratic Brazil, join the Allies in their war, naval invade Sardinia if we can, and then naval, naval invade Paradrop Rhone if we can. I'm hopeful this works out well. We complete this in 1939. Optimistic that we can complete it in 1940, but prepared for 4142. So many of the texts that we'll be researching and the paths we'll be taking are around a 1941-1942 finish. In this run, uh, spoiler alert, it's already, we are going to take care of it in January 1940, but we're researching subs, we're sending operatives out to uh, build their networks with the idea being if things go south, if things don't work out, it's not a busted run, we can still continue. I think that works out very well. It doesn't really take that much longer to send out the operatives. It doesn't take that much longer to build submarines or tanks or advanced fighters. And it's a little bit of an insurance. In any case, the operatives here are not here to set up any um, special abilities, just uh, set up a uh, intelligence network to help me um, see what's going on. For the fighters, our aircraft, we're just going to build fighters. We just want air superiority, so it's fighters with drop tanks, self-sealing tanks, double machine guns, no casts, no problem. Y yes, we like casts, absolutely, but in this case, since air superiority is the priority, not actually uh, engaging in ground troops, we're going to spend all of our effort on fighters, all of our little, I should say, aircraft air for it on fighters. We'll also be making tanks as well. Again, prepared for 41, 42, 43, a uh, rough fight in Africa or even Sicily. We'll making relatively inexpensive medium tanks with some armor. They can also be used for naval invasions. I didn't use them on this run, but again, that's why we're making them. It's to make them uh, available if we need them, if things don't work out. I think this tank here works very well for infantry, particularly for naval invasions, and that single tank on the front of an infantry. Now it's October 1939. We join the war by going democratic and then guaranteeing Belgium, which allows us to join the Allies and start to transport our troops across. We're in a bit of a time cruncher. We want to get to France and get into Sardinia if we can before France capitulates and then that area becomes Vichy France and then we of course uh, can no longer launch naval invasions from that area. Uh, my submarines tend to go into blocks of 24, six groups of four, and then in this case I'm building spotter fleets as well. We're going to place submarines, single submarines, at different places around Af uh, Af Italy excuse me, so that we can see what troops are at what ports. Do we need eight spotters? No, we don't need eight spotters, but we're going to make eight spotters so we're prepared. And you can tell we're also going to be looking for a nine plus one infantry plus artillery. Here's our Sardinia naval invasion. Three on the port, three on each side. Eight paradroppers dropping in as well. Is it overkill? Maybe. But again, we're on a time crunch. We may only get one shot at this. If this naval invasion doesn't work out, it's going to be a longer run. In any case, it's I prefer to take it uh, not really slower, but a little bit of an overkill um, if we can. And we're also going to land the first naval invasion on the port first. If it happened to be 10 full strength Italian battalions, uh, excuse me, Italian divisions, we can call off the whole thing. But in this case, with just one, we can comfortably land the paratroopers and drop the naval invasion around the port and quickly take care of that single naval invasion, obviously, with nine infantry divisions. Uh, and eight paratroopers guarding their flank or their rear, I guess you could say, things go pretty well. And then it's a matter of cleaning up the last little bit of Italy on Sardinia, and Sardinia now belongs to Brazil. Vichy is, in effect, France has fallen, which means we've got to get out of Vichy, France. If that naval invasion had not worked out, that would have been a bit of a setback. Uh, I mean, we would have recovered eventually, but it's nice that uh, we put the effort in to make sure that invasion landed. We're going to take a little bit of time to start moving around our subs. Just, we're still optimistic at this point. We can see that Rome is empty. We can see that uh, 
we have done very well and we can be optimistic that we'll be completing this relatively soon but unless let's take some time and keep an eye also on the, the lend lease situation we're in here as you may notice we're completely out of convoys because of a I'm a little aggressive with our lend lease with France no problem let the lend lease take its way after take its way out after 30 days and eventually the convoys will come back into availability and resupply the troops the police area here or the the garrison support is all cavalry we're moving around the spotters I'm even moving them around the far end of Italy do we need them not for this run but just in case just in case we need them later on it's good habits to get into put your spotters where we need to all right let's prepare for that last naval invasion we're going to put troops onto Rome and troops onto Anzio on excuse me on the north side of Rome the south side of Rome to clear up any air support we're preparing to have our paratroopers drop into Rome but there's a good chance uh, Italy's going to put up some air so let's plan to take out that airport along the way we start to realize that there really isn't a lot of air support after all we might be able to just drop straight onto Rome itself all right so let's see how that works out yes it does work out I hope you liked this run. If you did, uh, please feel free to put a comment on a, another achievement that you might like or that might be interesting. I'll also leave a link to my guide to all By Blood Alone achievements. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this run. This is fun. I'm, I, even now saying snakes on a plane makes me laugh, so I hope you have fun too. Here we go. Four paratroopers dropped in. Piece of cake. Let's drop four more. Why not? Let's see how it goes. Yeah, four more. Now we've got eight. It's a party. Thanks again.